Johnny T signs with the Toronto Maple Leafs, boys. Yeah! Don Cherry's got to be loving this. I can't believe it. I've been calling it now for like the last year, but a lot of that's just been wishful thinking. But we actually got it done. We didn't get Stammer. We didn't get Brad Richards. We didn't get Rick Nash back in the day. But we got John Tavares, a first overall pick, a former first overall pick. And we just got Austin Matthews, a first overall pick a couple of years ago. Can't believe it. We've just won ourselves the stand. Cup and become the best team in the NHL. I don't care if you disagree with me. I really don't give a shit. I'm a homer and I'm living this moment right now. John Tavares, a 27-year-old first-line center, has just been acquired by the Toronto Maple Leafs for nothing. For nothing! Alright, in the salary cap age, we can afford up to the cap and more. And the fact that we actually managed to get him in the cap and playing for this team is incredible. So, we have two first overall draft picks now. John Tavares and Austin Matthews. A bunch of young players that are just looking to break out. Mitch Marner, William Nylander, Morgan Riley. The defense we still got to work on, but holy shit. Uh, Pittsburgh has, has Crosby and Malkin down the middle. We got Tavares, Matthews, and don't underrate Kadri. They're 30 goal, man. I cannot believe this, man. We're the best team in the freaking NHL. So let's talk about this, man. There's so much to talk about. And where are the haters? Where are the, where are the people right now who said to me in the past that there's no way John Tavares would ever sign with the Toronto Maple Leafs? Why would he want to go to that shitty franchise? Why would he want to fail there? Uh, why would he want to take a, uh, a hit to play there with the taxes? There's no defense. You can't fit him in the salary cap. Just blah, 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 blah. Nonsense after nonsense. I called it. All right, hometown team. His, his fiance is also from Toronto. We're a young up-and-coming team. He just played with the New York Islanders. I mean, he played for the dark side for like how many years now? Welcome back to the light, John Tavares. It was a perfect fit, and we can start talking about the salary cap situation here with the Toronto Maple Leafs. I'm going to put on the screen here uh, the salary cap screen from capfriendly.com just to show you guys. I knew this all before. We've actually been able to get the bad contracts off the team. The days of Phil Kessel and Dion Fagouf and friggin David Clarkson are long gone boys. So we got the updated screen here. You got John Tavares right at the top making 11 mil per season for another 7 years and he's only 27 years of age. Oh, ho, ho. And when you look at what Alex Alexander Ovechkin finally did this year. Finally winning the Stanley Cup at what? 33, 34 years of age? Uh, what is he, 30... He's not 32, 33, 34. Should have looked into that forehand. But the point is, you know, within the next seven years, the Leafs, I mean, we got to win one Stanley Cup in the next seven years, right? So John Tavares, we got locked up long term. Patrick Marlowe... 6.25 million for another two years. We'll get back to that. Nathan Horton, he's on the injured IR. We're not paying that. Like I said, we're rich. We don't have to worry about it, okay? Nazem Kadri, four more years at four and a half million. That is a steal right there. And remember the four-year run, because I think that's where Marner and Nylander are coming in. Matt Martin, we can either trade him or buy him out or just hold on to him until uh, that contract runs out. Zach Hyman, he's making a great deal for another three years. Connor Brown, another two years. Then he's an RFA. And now here's where it gets interesting. Austin Matthews, Mitch Marner, Kaspari Kapanen all have one more year on their minor league deals. This is why it makes sense for this year. But now the question is, what about next year? You gotta have to give Austin Matthews a 10, 11 million dollar deal. And I think he's gonna get some, I don't think he's gonna get paid more than Tavares. It's gonna be 10 or 11, probably something like Eichel at 10. I wouldn't say it's more than Tavares. So maybe 10, 10 and a half, 11 million for eight years for Austin Matthews. But Mitch Marner, William Nylander, and Kaspari Kapanen. I think these guys are now getting bridge deals. I think if we didn't land John Tavares, we would have signed these guys to seven, eight year deals. But now that we got these contracts on our squad, I think a guy like Mitch Marner and uh, William Nylander, three year bridge deal. I don't know how long they can go with that, but three years, make sure they're still RFAs at the end of the bridge deal, kind of like Nikita Kucherov. He's in his last year with Tampa Bay right now, playing a lot better than what he's getting paid, but they still have the contract rights to him at the end. That's what we need to do with Mitch, uh, Kaspari Kapanen, and William Nylander. And then at the end of the Kadri and Morgan Riley four-year run, you can decide what you want to do. If it's time for Kadri to go, Morgan Riley to go, fine. If it's time for Nylander or Marner to go, fine. The point is, the next three years, you can keep this roster together. Now, Patrick Marlowe, you can use for this year.
year because he's got 6.25 and you have the minor league deals with Matthews and Marner. Next year, though, I don't know if you can move him. He's got a no uh, move clause, but a team would definitely take a 39-year-old Patrick Marlowe with one year with only six mil. The guy's an Iron Man. He got it done for Toronto this year. Why would he ever stop getting it done? He hasn't shown just yet. So that's a movable contract. Uh, the defense, Morgan Riley's only making five mil for four more years. That's fine. Nikita Saitsev, that's a bad deal. We've got to figure out what we're going to do there. Jake Gardner, only one more year left at four mil. Um, don't know what we're going to do with him. Ron Haynes, only one more year. Con Connor Carrick, only one more year. Travis Dermott, minor league deal. And we just won the Calder with the AHL, uh, the Toronto Marley. So we got a bunch of guys down there on minor league deals that we can bring up and give the chance to. The point is, is that we have followed the Pittsburgh Penguins, the Chicago Blackhawks, the LA Kings, the Detroit Red Wings, the Boston Bruins, down their paths to winning the Stanley Cup. I look at those squads going back to 2008. Detroit, Zetterberg, Dotsuk. Chicago, Kane and Taves. Uh, uh, Pittsburgh, Crosby, Malkin. L.A. had, I doubt he's the defenseman, but Kopitar and Carter. Boston, uh, uh, Krejci and Bergeron, right? Those two centers, those two forwards that you can rely on. One of them is on one line, one, one of them is on the other. The Leafs now have that. All right, I'm not going to make the argument who's better, Malkin and Crosby or Tavares and Matthews, but we have two bona fide number one centers on our team. And Kadri as a third line center, not too shabby. Now, the blue line's got to be worked on, but when was the last Norris Trophy winner or, or, or candidate on the Stanley Cup winning team? Look what Pittsburgh did in their years. And Latang was injured for one of them, right? So, I mean, you can win a Stanley Cup without the best defenseman in the league. What we got to do is something along the lines of what the Las Vegas Golden Knights did this year. You know, a bunch of defensemen who were overlooked come in, play a system, and just help their team out. We need guys who can shut it down, good skaters. And now the Toronto Maple Leafs are going to be a destination hotspot for young defensemen or even veteran defensemen who want to who want a shot, who want to play for a winning team. So don't worry about that. I know we're not there just yet. And I'm getting over uh, <laughs> overexcited when I say we're going to win a Stanley Cup. I truly believe that we've won a Stanley Cup sometime and now the, the next seven years. The defense is coming, but everywhere else we are taken care of. Down the middle, Tavares, uh, Matthews, Kadri on the wing, Marner, Nylander, Marlowe, Kapanen, uh, Hyman and Brown are just there as good little um, energy players, takeaway players. You know, he's, they've already played well in the uh, top nine so far. The defense, Morgan Riley, Jake Gardner's fine as like a fifth or sixth skating defenseman but we need we need two minute logging solid blue liners and then Frederick Anderson I'm fine with he was fantastic in the last two years for us wasn't the reason we lost in the playoffs to Washington or Boston so when I look at this team whoo man and I'm a Leaf fan I haven't been able to see a roster like this in my entire freaking life all right, one or two defensemen that you can rely on. We don't need a top two, $8 million, Eric Carlson, Drew Doughty, Brent Burns, P.K. Subban defenseman, just a Vegas Golden Knight defensive blue line, something like that, and let Tavares, Matthews, and Kadri just tear it up. Oh, my God, I'm getting excited right now. I'm getting a hard on right now. My God. Um, so... That's the salary cap situation. We still have to pay Phil. I just noticed that. Phil Kessel retained salary 1.2. <laughs> but uh, let's talk about lineups right now. What are what are the lines going to be for the Toronto Maple Leafs? There's a lot of um, interesting combinations. I'm very interested to see what the power play is going to look like. Are they going to go down the route of the Pittsburgh Penguins where it's like Malkin, Crosby, Kessel all on the same line? Are they going to split them up? I would love to see Tavares and Matthews play together on the power play, right? But I think it's best if you split those two guys up. But you go with two even power plays and whichever is playing better, you, you give them a minute each. Because there's some teams like Washington with Alexander Ovechkin who just stays out there for like a minute and a half, a minute 45. They have one power play. All right. Do the Leafs stack up or do they spread it out? I mean, you got to give Tavares, you got to give Matthews, you got to give Nylander and Marner. Those are the four forwards you got to give power play time to. Kadri, you got to give some time to. Marlowe's still in there. Kapanen, they're seven forwards. All right. Hyman and Brown, you can get away with not playing them on the power play, but I think Babcock's going to want somebody standing on front of the net. Ah, oh, man, there's just so many different options. I think. What you have in the top six, we don't have a first line. We have the first line on any given night, whatever team, whatever line's playing better. But John Tavares, Mitch Marner, and say Brown or Kapanen. Then you go back with Matthews, Nylander, and Hyman, and then Kadri, Marlowe, and either Brown or Kaspari Kapanen. Fourth line is made up by uh, AHLers that we can bring up. 
You could also keep Marner, Marlowe, and uh, Kadri together. They were doing pretty good. Then go Hyman, Nylander, and Matthews. Then just go Tavares, uh, Connor Brown, and Kaspari Kapanen. Because if Tavares can make all the guys in the island play well, like Josh Bailey and everyone else, you know, just put some sh shitty players alongside of him. Have two other great lines and let him carry that line all by himself. Oh, the sky's the limit, ladies and gentlemen. So I want to see what you guys have to say about this. Um, legitimately, legitimately, where do the Leafs rank now in the NHL? All right, I think we're way up there. Centers are far more valuable than defensemen now. The Pittsburgh Penguins proved that. Um, and the Leafs have one of, if not the best center core in the NHL. I'm not saying we have the best centers, but just when you take into account everything, Tavares, the veteran, Matthews, the up-and-coming, Kadri, the chippy energy player who can get 30 goals. Oh my goodness gracious. So let me know, ladies and gentlemen, this year is going to be a great year to watch Leaf Hockey, and it may be too early to start saying Stanley Cup next season. I think there are better teams, you know, like Tampa Bay, they're due. They just signed Ryan McDonough, uh, Kovalchuk signing with LA, so they finally got some offense. Uh, we're a young up-and-coming team, but like I said, with the Alexander Ovechkin example, he went until his 30s until he won his first Stanley Cup. The Leafs? <laughs> Matthews is over 10 years before he gets into his 30s. Uh, John Tavares, you know, seven years before he's 34. And he's, si he's signed now for seven years. And that's why I say sometime within the next seven years, bridge deals here, trades there. We still have our first-round draft picks, free agency signings. I think sometime within the next seven years, the Toronto Maple Leafs are finally going to win a Stanley Cup. And I'll be able to witness it. <sighs> now, I'll leave you guys with a question. John Tavares or Austin Matthews, who's the captain of the Toronto Maple Leafs? If I have to make the decision right now, Johnny T, without a shadow of a doubt. I'm not going down the route of the uh, Edmonton Oilers slapping the C on the best player on your team, Connor McDavid, just because. You know, the captain's got to do a lot more. He's got to talk to the refs. He's got he's to lead. He's got to have a certain swagger to him. And with John Tavares being the captain of the Toronto Maple Leafs, it allows Austin Matthews to kind of stealthily hide on that team and people forget about him. And, oh, shit, Matthews is out there. Oh, right, we forgot about that. The other first overall draft pick that the Toronto Maple Leafs have. <laughs> So I say Matthews uh, as the alternate, and he's grandfathered into the captain when John Tavares is in his mid-30s. Then he can hand the ball off, but oh my god, I don't care. Sometime in the next seven years, we are winning a Stanley Cup. So let me know what you guys think. Woo! And I will see you next year with the Toronto Maple Leafs with the President's Trophy winning team and the Stanley Cup champions. <laughs> Hey guys, Johnny here and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like, hit that subscribe button, and make sure notifications are on so you don't miss out on any new content. You can also swing by our website, which has forums and a live chat. That along with Twitter allows us to play with our subscribers in our GTA lobbies or the 24-7 open Minecraft server, where you can build with others or play in one of the many, many games across Superbia. Our Patreon account helps us support our website and the Minecraft server, and we also live stream on Twitch where I take days off my life for your entertainment. Sonny Gray, get out of it. You stupid pieces of sh I should have gone with Jose for Fernandez. Oh my God, pitching change. Fernandez, get your ass in there. Oh, I swear to God, baseball God just decided all over me. Grand slam, oh yeah. Make me miss the playoffs with a first ranked team. Year two, 30 games above 500, no divisional win. Trip to the wild card, first inning.